and welcome to Freaking FX, where I'm going to show you today how to create a Hotline Miami pause screen like this one that you can see over here. And for making this, you're going to need a VHS footage. Uh, you can reload it if you didn't have it on the my very first tutorial that I have on my channel. Not my very first video, but my very first tutorial in this channel, which is my second video. Uh, I have a, a zip folder where you have lots of uh, VHS footages that I'm gonna be using today. And also you will have to download the zip folder that uh, I will provide in the description below because I'm gonna be using stuff that uh, you will need. And the difficulty for this tutorial, you know, it's something normal. It's uh, It would be hard if you would have to do all this stuff because it takes a lot of time. But because I provide everything in the folder that you will have to download below, it's going to be easy. So, okay, let's start. So, first of all, we're going to drop our footage. We're going to look for a cool frame somewhere over there more or less I think it's okay this is for a project that I made years ago um, we're going to freeze this frame and to be honest I think that with only one second we're okay okay because it's a uh, you know post screen so um, also we're going to I'm going to make my um my screen on four I mean in three quarters instead of 16 by by 9 um, For making this I'm gonna go to the width and I'm gonna put if you're on uh, On full HD on 1080 you'll have to put on the width 1440 so that you work on on three on three uh, quarters Okay, and you will have there a uh, Here more or less, okay and you will have here um, the format that is uh, properly used for, you know, VHS footages and so. Okay, so uh, what we have to do now is making a very simple VHS effect. Now, I've done this a lot of times, so I'm going to be quick on this one a little bit. Just going, you know, uh, adjustment layer. I'm going to the brightness and contrast effect. Use legacy. Maybe 15, even more, 20. Duplicate, minus 15. Maybe adding a glow to this. More threshold, more radius, less intensity. Something like this more or less and maybe also well we can put an unsharp mask uh, amount well I think 50 is okay reduce 10 something like that you know very quick VHS effect and now uh, the, the next thing that we're gonna do is taking this uh, blurred VHS that uh, I provide in the in the folder below and you'll have to scale it, scale it up, um, put it on soft light uh, over here. So that, you know, it kind of have some movement there. Uh, more over here. It has some movement there. Uh, the video, maybe we can put the opacity a little bit down so that it has that effect. Okay, I think it looks cool like this. If you want, you can put it on hard light, depending on the kind of look you want it to have. I'm going to keep it on soft light, actually. All right. Um, maybe we can put a little bit more of saturation to this one, so that we can more properly see the, the colors. Maybe not too much. Something like this, more or less. And now we're going to create a second adjustment layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the these cuts that we see over here. Um, for making this, we're gonna look for a, a wave warp effect. Well, but first I'm going to make a mask, and we're gonna put it somewhere over here, more or less. You know, make it a little bit thick. We'll take this wave warp effect. 
um, we'll put this um, over here on semicircle. I think this value is 1040 are okay. The direction zero. Uh, the the speed make sure that is at zero. And actually, I think I'm going to make it much bigger, something like this. And we want we want to make it something over here more or less. All right, something like that. And now what we want to do is uh, we want this to have some movement. We have to adjust the face a little bit so that, well, you know, you can put it like this or you can put it as I did that the cat is right over there I'm gonna keep it like that and you can you know animate a little bit the, the width I'm just going to put a I never know how to call this uh, one of these dots coming over here maybe putting a little bit less over here oops over here a little bit more then a little bit less again and then when coming here going to our very first keyframe I'm putting it back there so it has that kind of movement you know all right now we're gonna add another with warp effect um, we're gonna put this um, on noise so that it has that uh, very thin scratches that we can see we're gonna leave this on 10 and 40 I think at uh, the direction zero again and the uh, and, and, um, speed sorry leave it there at 10 so that it has that kind of you know scratches that we can see over here and actually I'm I think I'm going to further a little bit just a little bit there no maybe that's much maybe five will work out or maybe even less maybe 2.5 just further a little bit there you know the edges okay it looks nice like that and now we're gonna add another adjustment layer and we're just going to take the um, the rectangle tool and um, put it maybe over here maybe yeah over here will work out and we're gonna take our uh, adjustment layer that we created before take this second with warp effect copy it and paste it over here so that we have these um, these scratches over here as well now the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use one of these um, of these filters that I told you so I'm just going to look where do I have them filters which is tape okay we're gonna use this one blank tape so select the first one make sure that you check on GPG sequence and click on import and we're going to add it on top and what we're gonna do we're gonna to scale it I'm going to scale the width and we're going to make sure that it's between the two adjustment layers that we created that is one over here and the other one the other one over here so someone something over there and also I'm going to make it wider something like this so that we have some very long horizontal lines and I'm going to disable it by now I'm just going to take the rectangle tool again and put it one over here and another one over here so that we can see that we have it right here when we have where we have our um our distortions we're gonna add a little bit of feathering to both masks something like that and uh, now we can try different opacity modes we can try soft light which doesn't look too bad hard light is definitely gonna be a lot yeah or maybe on just in screen mode no I don't like screen mode so probably I'm just going to leave it on soft light I'm going to 
it with more both of them and then I will just take this this expansion down especially on this one over here and maybe taking the opacity a little bit down something like that more or less and we can see that it has some nice te texture the next thing is adding, adding another uh, VHS filter we will use now uh, this tape noise loop again take the first one check the sequence import we will put in on top and we will go to right click transform fit to composition um, we will put it maybe on either soft or hard light I'm gonna keep it in hard light and maybe I'm just going to adjust a little bit right over there so that we don't have that ugly uh, black border at the left and now we're gonna add one last uh, VHS filter of this uh, folder that I uploaded uh, this one vertical slip we're going to import that and what we want to do is we want to scale it up until it fits the composition more or less we want to make sure that we have uh, the top I mean the the border below all right and we're gonna make a mask that is around the half more or less make it very big because we're gonna take the feathering now and we're gonna turn it up and put this now on hard light so we have that kind of texture at the bottom but not at the top so we can see that now this starts to look a little bit better now the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, adding another VHS filter yeah I see that this one was going to be the last one I lied this is going to be the last one although probably not <laughs> we'll add it here and these are actually footages that I found on, on YouTube I I put here the name of the channels where I found them because I always insist please make sure that you um how do you say give credit give the proper credit to the creators so we're going to t take this line that we can see over here we're gonna make a line over there put the feathering up maybe not too much and then putting it on screen mode um, what we have to do now is s selecting a, a place where we want this um, white line to be because we can see that we have one over here and actually this is a, I don't know what frame rate is this but probably it will have some places over here where, where it freezes so for fixing this we will right click go to time time stretch um, we should put a lower value maybe 75 will work out so that we don't have freeze frames and so and we'll have to adjust the position so that it always keeps at the same position so we will go the position over here and we will go now frame by frame making sure that it's always more or less at the same position and after I quickly skip this part so that you guys don't get bored the very last thing for doing is adding this menu PNG that will be on the folder that I uploaded because you know it will be very boring for you guys to make the blue solely then adding every single text and so and then after making the put in the menu also adding the the pause uh, layer and this is basically it. this is uh, the main way for making this filter now if you want you can additionally add some uh, VHS filters and so you can you know pre-compose the whole thing call this layer effects maybe duplicating it putting in the one on the top on color mode repositioning it now taking a fast blur effect so that you know it looks everything more integrated something like that maybe not too much displays something like that and if you want maybe we can add another yeah, I knew the, the other one wasn't going to be the last VHS filter. Adding one on the top, right click, transform, fit to composition. 
this one may be on soft light so that it is in uh, over VHS <laughs> I don't know what kind of verb was that so this was basically this was basically the idea that I wanted to show you guys I hope that you guys enjoyed and again please make sure uh, to subscribe to the channel if you found this tutorial helpful and um, feel free to ask me for any kind of filter or effect that you would like to know about but you can find any other tutorials in the internet uh, please make sure to follow me on my on the social media and I really hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya